if you have anything bad to say just keep quiet and pass i am pregnant and my husband goes ahead to buy his mommy car that means my husband is willing to do act of service 247 hey loves welcome back to my channel my name is valerie or you can call me kaka if you're just seeing this beautiful face for the first time you are most definitely welcome please do not make it a last time here do want to subscribe like this video drop your comments and share and if you're an og if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos comment share like and enjoy so story the second episode of what's happening on twitter is coming now i had to do other videos like vlogs because of vlogmas but i can still incorporate this into vlogmas so i'm going to call this vlogmas 5 okay um it's still part of what's happening on twitter okay sorry for the noise in the background my neighbor's gen is on and you know right is in nigeria here so um yes the first tweet of the day um today is 13th of december and yes guys we are getting very close to election like the nigeria elections are coming up very soon in february 2023 and my president and vice president Peter Obi and Dati Ahmad visited Lokoja today. They did the Obi Dati presidential campaign in um, Lokoja Kogi State, and um, it was it was fabulous. I'll just like insert a video here so you guys can see. It was fabulous, and this is going to bring me to the first tweets the very first tweet of today um it was able call big brother Ninja that tweeted this reminder that collection of pvcs from INEC local government offices started yesterday that means on the 12th and is on till the 22nd of january 2023 please go and pick yours up i had to add 2023 because you can't be sleeping elections are coming soon like february 2023 like we have like less than two months to go so please pick up your pvc and you know now you know who we are voting for you know who we are voting for you know the right person you guys know like we don't want to suffer we don't want bala bulu 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 we don't want why 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 you want someone who is you know legit and honest and someone who cares for nigeria and nigerians so yeah so that's the first tweet of today and the second tweet we have here is um okay someone asked a question right and the person said this is by dg director dg if i'm pronouncing that right what was the incident that made you stop your talking stage with someone share your story so purple responded literally just a week after he said i really like you and would like to take things forward but this your weight is an issue i was attracted at first but now it's beginning to look disgusting shed some weight for me baby and we can work things out okay like it's even shed some weight for me baby I think I've been in this conversation before, not really, but it was someone I was even dating. Okay, this was even talking stage, like we were already dating, but this was like my past, 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 so that's rubbish. So, yeah, like if you have your own story, you can share in the comment section because I'm more men and audacity five and six. So, yeah, the next tweet here is um, <laughs> this is just gonna be you know, fun, good vibes here, and all of that. So, yeah. If you know the spelling of this particular animal let me know in the comment section don't cheat though don't google it which is the correct spelling i'll just put it here a we have hippopotamus with double p's like four p's rather then we have hippopotamus hippopotamus <laughs> whatever them no born you will make you know sing this song i think the correct answer here is c Yes, H I P for the hip, for the hippopo, P O P O for the hippopo, and T A M U S for the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Come on. The answer is C. The answer is C. If you go to school, you go no. Ah, this one is by Josephine. Are you matured enough to leave a wedding ceremony without eating? Ah, yes, yeah, so it has happened to me before. This was even my family friends <laughs> wedding. Oh my god, hmm, should I be saying this? But anyway, sure, it has happened to me before. Yes, like we didn't share food to like 
towards the ending i left my cousin's house wasn't even far from the venue so i went there i went to the house to eat i made indomie and i ate and then you know, they don't call me they're like ah kaka there's food now and it was time for dance dance so i was like oh, i'm not hungry again i'm eating i just i now went back there to continue dancing because the wedding was least just that food did not just go around when it was supposed to go around but i went back to share dance mm. yeah okay yes this is daily loud um it's a verified handle on twitter i think they do just and all that for celebrities i think so so yeah drake copped a new custom diamond necklace called previous engagement made of 42 engagement rings representing the 42 times he thought of proposing to different women but he decided not to really 42 times how old is drake first of all and how many relationships 42 times laugh my ass out 42 times like 42 women and nobody caught your attention to to be committed to the end so like he changed his mind 42 times i'm sure he's going to count to 50. so this one is for you december people or you know you want to shop 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 this christmas this is by Auntie Ada. Before you buy hairs, clothes, gadgets, or anything on Instagram, better come on Twitter and search for the handle name for review to avoid stories. Excuse me. To avoid stories that you know the rest. Like you have to be sure of the Instagram vendor you are buying from or the vendors you want to purchase things from. Like people these days are like what you order versus what you <laughs> these people are crazy. Like they don't really care. They just want to make money. This is by Noble Igwe, still on politics. Dear at Peter B, if no one has told you, I want to be the first to tell you that you have done well, honestly speaking. For someone with the least political campaign money, running on a party with the least structure, you have done absolutely so well and God bless you with your awesome obedience. God bless you, Peter B. God bless me as an obedient. God bless us as obedient. If you're not an obedient, if you're not following who no road you are following the wrong train i'm sorry boy that's the truth okay so you know what you know what to do you know what to do this is by kira i am kira j i truly dislike the notion that most of the wins you see posted online are fake so you should be happy with your life that's cuddling insecurity instead of addressing it the truth is some people really are winning and you need to learn to be happy with your life regardless this is very true but sometimes some things you see on social media are really 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 fake but there are people that are legit winning there are people that are legit doing things in the legit way there are people that are literally sharing their good wins with you or their happiness with you because they just feel it's going to encourage you and some of that feel awkward or you feel you know, in some kind of way when people post good things or their wings on social media and you're like you're like mm, not so there's something wrong with you yeah sometimes sometimes most of the things on social media are fake but not all like you can tell you know there are a lot of content creators for example i follow and i i have seen them grow so i've seen them cry i've seen them struggle even myself i've seen myself struggle i've seen myself cry so when i'm happy when i'm posting things that maybe not it could be small like see a win is a win honestly i'll look for that tweet maybe my next twitter um episode but a win is a win honestly a win is actually a win so small or big so yeah if you have anything bad to say just keep quiet and pass whatever yeah so now someone tweeted this this is olua tosi olua sendi if you are spending above five million on your wedding please why aren't you going on honeymoon which is very true like if you have five million naira to take care of other people why why can't you provide something for you to enjoy with your partner like during honeymoon so yes yeah, someone now replied quoted a tweet this is by spicy oops or pair a ddg one of the best wedding advice my aunt gave me in March was set aside the money for your home, everything from rent to decor, etc. Set aside for your vacation afterwards. Whatever is left could form your wedding budget. So this means that you actually have a large budget. You have a large budget because if you're taking care of other activities like your home your decor car etc finances all of that for your marriage and that means a good sum of money should be left over for your wedding that means you have a high budget because 
it's just everything is just planning and, and agreements my dad would tell me that when it comes to marriage it's planning and agreements and i keep telling my partner to that honestly i think it is true so yeah how you plan yourself and whatever you agree on is what you're going to benefit at the end so if you can afford a wedding with five million naira, you should also afford something good to enjoy yourself during your honeymoon this is from Josephine. My pregnant friend asked for divorce after her husband buys his mother a car. She said, I can't be carrying your baby and walking with my legs while your mom drives a car. What's your opinion? Honestly, 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 like I said, when it comes to marriage, everything is planning and agreement. Okay. I am pregnant and my husband goes ahead to buy his mom a car. The thing is, even if he's buying his mother a car, based on the kind of person I'm dating, I'll believe that, okay, probably his mom needs that car and he has plans for me because if I'm pregnant, 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 <laughs> if I'm pregnant, that means my husband is willing to do act of service 247 because he knows that as a pregnant woman, I can't be suffering. I won't call it suffering. It's something that must happen if you marry. But I can't allow myself, you know, go through that stress when I know that I can just easily enter the car and go to where I'm going to. But if I'm heavily pregnant, I don't really think I really need to drive if you're heavily, heavily pregnant. But it means that my husband will have to be at his back and call. Like he has to be there for me. But when he enters the market, is either he's getting back that is taking me and bringing me back or he's taking me to the market and bringing me back or we must have explained that okay well, in this time frame this is how we're going to run this thing for this nine months after nine months i'm giving you a push gift which is a car let's for me have the car if your husband is pleasing his mom he should also please you whatever he's doing for his extended family even if you cannot put your fist you should remember that oh i have your wife I am there so yeah that's just my opinion because this this lady just said i can't be carrying your baby probably she's telling him more oh, look well, maybe when i when i give birth i will not be carrying a baby up and down without a car or even as i'm carrying this baby now i cannot be suffering and woke up and out without a car so you know what you're doing you know? i said by now when you can't remember me so if you're a man and you're in that situation you have to use your common sense not neglect your wife that's just it so yeah delete to permanently you have telegram tiktok instagram facebook whatsapp snapchat or more i am deleting snapchat and telegram tiktok instagram facebook whatsapp because i share my videos on whatsapp my my youtube videos i interact with people on whatsapp i try my best Although I don't watch people's um, posts on WhatsApp, people always complain, Kaka, oh, I posted your picture here on your birthday, you didn't even see it. Oh, I said something nice about you, you didn't even see it. Oh, something happened to me, you didn't even see it. But I'm like, I can't. Anyhow, Shabo, I'll try my best in 2023 to start watching people's WhatsApp status. Then another one here is TikTok. I love TikTok. TikTok is my playground. Like I can I can just go there and just play. And it helps me, like it helps it boosts my brain. Like, okay, after playing now, there's this ginger to go and film for YouTube or write a script about what I want to do next or something, you know. And I watch a lot of people. I don't watch people and they feel depressed. I watch people to get motivation, to get their energy, to create more content. So you have to know what you use a show your um social media for. Instagram, I can't delete Instagram because I use it to interact with my audience. At Facebook I used to have a Facebook account but I feel Facebook is very important because there are a larger audience there everybody wants to be involved on Facebook so it's not an app out it although I don't have it but if I have it I want it but I don't have it now because I don't have memory space on my phone so yeah this tweet really got me it touched me um, you see, see Nandi said my biggest achievement this year was not killing myself depression is real depression is actually real i know some people misuse this word but there are a lot of people 
who are depressed a lot of people are battling with depression a lot of people you know don't even know how to handle depression but hopefully if you can afford to see a psychologist or someone in the mental health um, sector or health whatever please try and see someone or talk to someone like you can't carry everything alone like you just need someone who understands and um, I think I'll also do a video I kept that particular um, thing or let's say the points I decided out to make a video on how to interact with people um, it yeah, let's just interact with people especially people that are dealing with depression or people that um, have low um what's the word now don't really have that high capacity when it comes to you know interacting with people mentally you know there are ways to talk to people so people just feel like okay and um, because i'm listening to you now so you should be fine i'm talking to you now you should be fine no there are some things you don't even see there are some <sighs> i'll just look for that thing i don't know where i'll find it because i'm sure that particular tweet or that particular post on instagram is like nine months ago so yeah i really feel for this person like if you're going through anything please just find someone really really close to talk to if you cannot talk to anybody please you'll be fine i'm praying for you because it's not really easy to open up to people so this is my uh, still pretty gun point to your head flash someone and if your phone doesn't ring in one minute they will shoot who are you flashing i'll have lots to try this out Oh, they just brought the lights. Praise the Lord. Sorry for the break in transmission. I am back. So yeah, gun point to your head. Flash someone. And if your phone doesn't ring in one minute, it will shoot. Who are you flashing? Honestly, I'm going to flash my dad. Because, <laughs> not that he's always on his phone, but I know number one, his ringtone is very loud. Just something. Let me just pick to know. So if I flash and maybe oh he sees it as a missed call, he'll probably call back in less than one minute. <laughs> so this is um Pharaoh. Domestic violence and cheating are not parts of the ups and downs in a relationship. True. So this is by Big Ayo. The only reason I want to get married is because I'm tired of thinking of what to eat. At least two head can think faster. Honestly, Sha. There's a reason why two people must marry a man and a woman okay so this is another tweet um this is by sarah this kid is very disrespectful 3 3 a.m and you are where doing what exactly hashtag this kid like Accra. like why the nigerian artists do this thing like they pay a lot to see you to listen to your music to watch you perform live and you guys don't turn up early you come late this is why i don't know i don't think i'll ever attend a concert in nigeria because i don't know why you nigerians take other nigerians for granted like you nigerian artists take nigerians for granted and someone here replied this is very very true uh, this is by sadiq adams that's why i choose football we never go to a stadium and have to wait for the characters to come when they want all 22 men even if it includes ronaldo and messi come when it's time 3 p.m kickoff is 3 p.m i like certainty honestly like ronaldo and messi to be honest i feel they're bigger than whiskey than all these artists that come with yeah honestly speaking because why someone paid to see you and you're coming late like why can't you just start the show by 10 p.m 11 p.m everybody we are go home after that so we'll like start early so people can go back to their various places like people are coming from far and wide and you're wasting their time like what's that it's crap you know sometimes um i don't really hop on what's trending on the trending thing on twitter you know because sometimes when you see what's trending it's like I actually like to see tweets from actual people like people 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 like let me just know what's going on and she gets here so that's what we have today and um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do all to like subscribe drop your comments and share give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you guys in my next video bye